Jeff Paul Sells letter. This ugly orange paper and these crazy letters got really fantastic response. If you do direct mail, you thought about doing direct mail, you want to do something that's simple and oddly enough, something that works, then watch today's video and I'm going to tell you the backstory about this. Now, I don't know if you know Jeff Paul or not. Jeff Paul was a student uh, or protege. I don't know the term, student, protege, whatever. He studied Dan Kennedy. I think he was in Dan Kennedy's big inner circle thing, right? And so Jeff would run these full page ads in magazines and people would respond. And then he would he would have these letters to send them. And let me show you this. So this is actually, um, the, the letter has this green order form. The nice thing about this is you can do this at home. Right. You can you can you can do this. You can do this. This, you know, Office Depot, Office, any place that prints stuff up has these colors. Right. And we're going to talk about the ugliness of the colors of second. So this is called an 11 by 17 page here. Right. And it's folded. So you have in this one. You have two 11 17 by 17s, and they're not even stapled, right? So this is pretty easy to do. You have to pay to have them printed and folded. And then inside of it, you stick the sales letter, the, the order form that's printed front and back. And then it's folded like this and just stuck in a number 10 envelope, and it mails for a first-class stamp. That mails for freaking first class stamp right now. You say, Marlon, what about this ugly orange color? What about this ugly? I mean, that's ugly, right? I mean, that color is that's really ugly. What about that? That what about that color? Well, so here's the scoop on the color. We're gonna talk about some of the other letters that he sent in just a second. So stick with me. But, but let's talk about this ugly color. Uh, Dan Kennedy and his students use this ugly orange color a ton in direct mail and had really big success with it. And you'd say, Marlon, why? <clears throat> I think the reason is this. It's going to stand out a lot more in the mail than just white paper. It stands out more. It stands out more than just white paper. That would be number one, right? And then number two is every letter you send is on the same orange paper. So they recognize it, right? Number three, it's pretty reasonable, readable. The the black text against the the kind of the it's called goldenrod, I believe. Against this goldenrod color is pretty readable. And so they, they did quite a bit of work testing and different things and found that this ugly color worked. It reminds me of the ugly orange buttons on sales pages. They're ugly, but they do stand out. They do get attention. And that's the whole thing behind this. But here's what I want you to think about. You've got an eight-page letter here, eight pages to sell your product or your service goes in a number 10 envelope, goes out to your customers, right? Can go out to your customers. I believe this is under one ounce. Now I may be wrong on the weight of it. I should weigh it on a scale, but um, it feels to me like this is probably under an ounce, which means it mails for one first class stamp in the U.S. I don't know about, about other, other states. Now, Jeff Paul would send a series of three of these it's a thing Dan Kennedy invented in his magnetic marketing way back. Uh, by the way, Russell Brunson is selling that magnetic marketing, the updated version of it now. But um, it would come in an envelope. Right here, it says, look at this. It says, second notice right there. You see that? It says, second notice. So the first, you got the first letter. Then you get the second one. It says, second notice. And then you get the third one that says final notice. Now, typically, that first one probably comes in a six by nine envelope. 
possibly an eight by 12 envelope with other stuff stuck in it. Then the two follow-ups are in a number 10, are, are in a number 10 envelope, right? And there's a lot of sales copy on there. If you look, this print, I don't know the size of that print for sure. It's small. That's probably like 12 point type is what I, that's what I think, right? I think that's probably 12 point type. But there's a lot of sales copy. The bottom here, it says, you know, uh, go to the next page, right? And so each, I think each page, yeah, each page at the bottom, it, whoops, it says go to the next page there at the bottom, right? And so if you don't use direct mail, think about this. Th just follow me here. Just think about this for a second. And then we're going to talk about some of the other formats that he sent these letters in. But um, your, your customers may or may not read their freaking email. Your emails probably get lost. If they don't respond, open an email for three or four months, what do you have to do? You have to delete them. You can't mail them anymore. You have to freaking delete them. Think about that. You have to delete them. These are people that four months ago were interested. Four months ago, they may have bought something just four months ago. But with email as insane as Google is today, you got to delete them or they ain't going to deliver your emails. They're like, screw you. But these are people that just bought four, four months ago. I mean, I have customers that have been buying from me for 25 years. But if they don't buy something within four months, I got to delete them? Come on. That's ridiculous. You know how many customers today are just being burned who are legitimate, valuable customers? And maybe you just hadn't, they didn't see the freaking emails. Maybe you just didn't have something that excited. Maybe temporarily they didn't have money. Maybe they kind of their interest wane, but it'll come back in another six. You don't know. So what I'm saying is for a relatively low cost, now, printing's not cheap. I'm going to be honest. Printing ain't cheap. You're going to spend like, I don't know, if you're doing eight and a half by 11s, it's like, I think, probably like 10 cents a side. I don't know. You probably got a couple bucks to send them this. But think about it. Depending on your niche on Facebook, you're paying a buck or two for a click. Probably. Depends on your niche. Like in my niche, I'm paying a buck or two a click probably, right? So in other words... For the cost of about two clicks that the person spends like 20 seconds on your sales letter and bells, I didn't send them something in the mail. In the mail, right? To customers that I can't mail anyway because Google made me delete them. But I can send them this. You say, well, Marlon, I, I don't want to spend the cost to send them this. So what you do is use what's called two-step marketing. You just send them a one-page letter front and back. You tell them what it's about, right? And then tell, have them go to the website. And at that point, they can enter their name and mailing address to request it, in which case it, maybe, you, you, maybe you just email it to them at that point, or they enter their name and mailing address and you mail it to them. In the old days, we would have them call and leave their their you know their 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 phone number or something. But um, the idea is you get them to express interest again. So you know uh, the way I would probably do it: set them a one-page letter, have them go to a web page, they enter their name. If you have their name on file, then then because you just mailed them, all they got to do is enter their name and email, and then you will send them the letter, right? You'll send them the whole deal, or you'll send it as a PDF, and you'll send it by mail. Anyway, I hope this is in light, enlightening to you. So this is uh, eight pages plus a green order form in the middle, printed front and back, back one color, no two color crap, no graphics at all. It's just all copy. It's just all text because that's like 80% of your, 90% of your response. Uh, mailed, folded, mailed in a number 10 envelope. 
you know, first notice, second notice, third notice, the first notice you probably mail in a six by nine envelope if you're doing a sequence like that. And uh, that's it. Uh, now, one thing about uh, Jeff Paul, Jeff Paul was a famous student of Dan Kennedy. Jeff Paul had his own infomercial teaching how to do this. And for some reason, because he talked about making, I think, a dollar amount from home, like $4,000 a month from home in your underwear, $10,000, something like that. The Federal Trade Commission, I think, I don't know if it was that or they had another problem with Jeff. I think it was the income claims, but I'm not sure. He got in trouble with the Fe Federal Trade Commission, just so you know. Uh, my take on that is the things he taught absolutely work. The things he taught absolutely work. However, making an infomercial today for selling something about making money online is like horribly dangerous. You, like, you're going to end up probably like, what was the guy, the Don LaPree? You're going to end up like freaking Don LaPree if you do it. Like, I, you couldn't pay me enough money to do a how to make money online infomercial. Like, you're just presumed guilty before you even do it. You're presumed guilty. You, you might, by virtue of the fact that you're talking about how to make money and you have an infomercial, it's assumed you're a scammer and you're guilty, period. Like, it's, it's ridiculous to me. It's insane. It's not fair, but that is the way the deal goes down. So anyway, I just wanted you to know, because if you look him up on Google, you'll find out, yes, he had problems. But that doesn't mean the techniques didn't work. That means his direct mail letter isn't gold. It is gold in more ways than one. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.